Breaking news on Martin Lucas Investor. We are looking at NOVX Corporation, ticker symbol ENVX. I'm going to be looking at the charts, the buy zones, the sell zones, um, and what I will be doing with this stock. Uh, let's get straight into it. Again, remember anything I say during this video is not financial advice, it's just my thoughts um, and my thoughts only. So we're looking at the stock right now. Uh, it has been requested, but at a great time because right now what we see is the price going down. It has broken a support level, which is concerning, um, but it does give us opportunities to buy lower. Right now, just looking at the price of the stock, I am expecting it to fall lower. I'm expecting um, a drop in price. Let's see what targets I'll be buying the stock at. One target would be around the $9 level. The next target could potentially be as low as $7. Those are my two targets. I'll put some money aside to buy at $9 and leave some money to make sure if it goes lower, I, I can get an entry at maybe $7. And worst case scenario, we do have this downwards trending um, trend line which suggests it can even go as low as all time lows and make a lower low but um, that is the worst case scenario but always good to have money on the side if you have a lot of dedication in this stock um, you want to be lying, buying it at the lowest possible price which for me could be as low as five dollars fifty um, but one step at a time nine dollars is my first buy level the next buy level um, is indicated firstly by um, support and resistance um, but mainly because of this um, gap in trading once you have these gaps 90% of the time 80 90% of the time they get filled there was a gap in trading on the 1st of May to the 2nd of uh, May where the price jumped 45% uh, a day there was a gap in trading um, so there's a lot of liquid liquidity there that the price will be drawn to um, and that sat around seven dollars uh, so i'll definitely have a limit order set up there in case of bad news that can quickly be flushed down to seven dollars and that could be a great area to buy um, once we do settle on um, a, some support and and try and change the trend from this downwards trend remember the trend is your friend and the trend right now is very much a downtrend once you um, go to one of these support levels and bottom out and start changing the trend then you can't start looking at areas to sell my set next to the sell zones would be $13 and then this major trend line going um, dating back all the way to 2022 which depending on what time we when we hit it and what uh, uh, and, and what date we hit it and um, will be different um, so look, for example if it takes a few months um, we're looking at about $17 being the next resistance for this stock but remember um, we take it one day at a time for me right now the buy levels are $9, $7, sell levels are $13 um, and then somewhere between the highs of 2024 which is $18 and uh, wherever this trend line will fall um, at that point um, so that's my analysis remember the RSI is um, towards the oversold territory so if it continues going down one of these levels here either the nine dollars or the seven dollars will prove a nice area to buy the MACD is trending up please do hit the like button if you want more information leave your um, uh, leave your comments down below and I'll reply to those comments do subscribe if you haven't already join us every uh, trading day Martin will be live you can ask your questions and every Sunday um, where I will be doing my shows have a look at this video up here and down here as well uh, do watch them and let me know if you watch them until next time take care of yourselves and each other